Hey everyone, welcome once again to my tiny narrowboat studio. Today I wanted to show you a new song idea I've had. It's a, a really lovely idea. It's in a tuning called Open G that somebody who commented on my last video suggested I try out. I did try it out and it's a really fun tuning. It's great for finger picking and finger picking is something I've been getting into a bit more these past few months. So let me show you this idea that I've had. I've also written some lyrics for it. The lyrics are inspired by a book I'm reading by a guy called Alan Watts who I suggest you check out if you don't know him already. I'm sure that a lot of you do know him. He's a really interesting philosopher and he talks about living more in the present which is a more well-known idea these days with mindfulness and everything but it's just about not labeling everything that happens to us through words and just experiencing the present moment and stop trying to figure everything out all the time and plan ahead into infinity and just simplify our day-to-day -day lives <laughs> E 
<sighs> it was a little bit improvised at the end. I'm still kind of finishing it. I'm still putting finishing touches on it. I like how it flows and it, it doesn't repeat. And maybe it's a bit short, but I feel like it's contained in its own lovely bubble, its own little world of a song. And it puts you into a very nice headspace, I think, which is a good thing for me and probably for you watching, I suspect. Well, let me talk about the lyrics. So they, what I've written is, bringing a gift, the present, sending it swift, the now. And what that means is to give ourselves the gracious gift of being right here, right now, which means not thinking ahead into the future, not remembering the past, letting go of worries and letting go of words to label everything that we see around us and just absorbing what is here with our senses. And we're sending it fast and right here because it's, it's being born every moment is the present and what came before it is disappearing and it's a beautiful thing to engage with if you let yourself do it. Not listening to what my mind says, I'm listening to the clouds. And that's sort of a signal to deactivate all of the mental chatter and all of the whirring things in our heads that tell us everything's stressful and there's more to be done and we're not good enough and all that kind of stuff that we put up with. <laughs> and instead to listen to what's around us and to be at one with that. It's a really lovely kind of song to write this for me because it helps me to be in that place, which is what I need more because I've ended up rushing around more than I want to and having more worries than I want to and it's not who I want to be, I suppose. And it's nice when you write a song to think, what do I really want to write about today? And it's lovely when you find something perfect that fits in with it. And the next part goes, Dawning is our life, reveal what we deny. Right here, flowering, curious, exploring. And what this is, is an idea of opening up to everything and to not rushing past everything around and just slowing down a bit and realizing that there is so much in every moment and it's this moment now which exists, not a moment in the future. And when you engage in that mindset, you become more curious and you begin to see the wonder in everything and it makes you feel like exploring and it opens up your mind in that way and it helps lighten the load of your soul, which is a welcome thing, I think. And then the last lines are, use no words to find your now and varying words on, on that subject. Because I did improvise it a little bit, but it didn't stray too far from that idea. And what that means is just, that like what Alan Watts says, a bit like how money represents wealth, but money isn't wealth in itself. Money, a bit how money represents wealth, but money isn't wealth in itself, because wealth is the things in our lives like good health. Oh my gosh, that all rhymed. <laughs> but money can re represent these things, you know, for exchange of goods and all that. And it's the same with words. Words can represent ideas and represent forms and symbols. They can represent objects, but they're only what we label them as. What they are in themselves is something beyond words, and in the ultimate version of now, there are no words to describe it. So that is the gist of what that's about. Alan Watts explains it quite a lot better than me, so do check him out. Thank you so much for watching my little video and I hope it's made your day a little bit lovelier. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.